You've turned down an awful lot of money. Pull the gamble handle. See what it comes out at. 353 bananas. Or is it the chop? No, it wasn't. Thursday, BBC One plays host for another ripping tale of British pluck, a tale of daring do. I'd rather live with Paul Swattle than die behind a desk. We're a man. Hello. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. And unswerving dedication. Can you not see the excitement in this? Rowan Atkinson plays Tim Birkin in Heroes and Villains, Thursday at 9.30 on BBC One. <laughs> Blood and Water is a chilling tale set against the background of the Second World War, starring Paul Rees. Having met on a train, Alex takes Captain Peter Buckle home to meet his sister, Angela. But none of them was prepared for what happened next. Can I give you a word of advice? What? Don't grow to depend on them in any way. One day it's all summer and fun, and the next... Well, cool the pulses of desire, thy coolness and thy bond. Ghosts, tonight, 9.15, BBC One. Dark Family Secrets in 15 minutes on BBC One in Casualty. But first, with tickets ready, we're off to London Luton Airport. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck of the Boeing 757. Captain Alan Gibson has just landed there at London's Luton Airport, and that is where the National Lotto Live is coming from tonight. We are always trying to the job on an aeroplane. Yeah, and so have I am. Yeah, so here goes. The door is uh, behind me. The food is to the right and to the left. The coffee is on automatic, so let's get on with the show. Uh, down here. the flight and would like to welcome the National Lottery Live to London Luton Airport. at London's Luton Airport and poor little Arthur is being dwarfed by this massive Boeing 767. Yes, our venues are getting bigger again, aren't they? Last week a village hall, this week an aircraft hangar and who knows, next week we could be coming live from Anthea Turner's wardrobe. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, last week nearly 15 million viewers watched us help make over 950,000 people in Britain richer in a lottery draw which actually created seven new millionaires. And one of those lottery millionaires is Esther Tracy. She's a qualified nursery nurse from Poplar, East London. And the first thing she wanted to do when she saw her numbers coming up was to nip along to Knightsbridge and get a brand new look from a very famous corner shop. I'm Mr. Tracy. I won the lottery last week. I thought I'd better go and get my hair done. Congratulations. Welcome to Harrow. Thank you. Let's go up to Harrow. What are you going to buy? What's the first thing you're going to buy? Well, I'd like to buy my dad a car. Any type of car? Just haven't got round for it since he's died. Cool to be choosing, eh? <laughs> so, um, how did you choose your numbers then? At random. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You got any tips? No. <laughs> so what do you reckon to that then, Esther? Best ever haircut I've ever had. So how did you find out that you won, Esther? 
Well, I was in bed with a toothache, and I looked at the paper, and I just saw, like, three numbers. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. And then I saw four, and I saw five, and I checked from your mum and dad, like, I said, oh, I've got six numbers now, and I couldn't believe it. Right, let's get down to some serious shopping. Lovely. Let's go accessorise it with some jewellery. Do you like these Do you like these necklaces and bracelets? They're okay. What, you want some tiara? Well, I hope you've had a good day's shopping. I've had a brilliant day, best day of my life. I think all these bags to take home with you. <laughs> well, Esther, that really was a serious job. Did you enjoy yourself? It was brilliant. Now, just at the moment, you just like the rest of us. You've got an overdraft. <laughs> but any second now, you are going to be Esther the Millionaire. And to put the final piece of the jigsaw into place, please welcome onto the stage from one of your favourite soaps, it's one of your favourite heroes, it's Brian Regan from Brookside. <laughs> Brian, welcome along. Have you met many millionaires in Liverpool? Uh, no, but as you say, it's the first time for everything. Absolutely. Would you like to do the honours? Yes, yes, sir. Here's your cheque for £1,373,571. You Congratulations. lucky girl. Ladies and gentlemen, well, honestly, after becoming a millionaire, it's is not going to change the way that we treat you on this show, so until we see you again, I prostrate myself in front of you, O oh, Queen of Lovely. Thank you very much. Now, could it be you up here next week receiving a seven-figure check? Well, it all depends on the numbers you've picked being chosen by Arthur, randomly selected to make the draw tonight, along with the number three set of coloured balls. And to load the balls, you normally welcome along that very well-known face on television, John Willen. But unfortunately, John stood outside the wrong plane this evening. He's now watching the show from Barbados. Hope you're enjoying the show. So please welcome our draw master for this week, Martin Atfield. Well done, Martin. Thank you. And uh, under the watchful eye of Pat, our independent adjudicator, please load the ball. Thank you. Now, even if you won the jackpot tonight, you'd never be able to afford one of these monsters behind us. But Gordon has his dreams, and earlier today he discovered that membership of the Jet Set can still be within your grasp. Yes, Anthony, I've come to a kind of a showroom for executive aircraft here at Magic Aviation in Luton Airport, and I'm joined by Captain Doug White over here. Now, Doug, I've come here with my pockets overflowing with cash, so presumably I'll be able to afford this. Secondhand, Grumman Tiger, £40,000. Yeah, you see, £40,000, you know, I could get a second-hand Porsche for £40,000. You've not got something that a bit more zipped it, a bit sexier, yeah? Here we are, thing for you. Oh, wow, yeah, this is more like it, you see? No propeller. Excellent. What's this? This is a Hawker 125, eight seats, and this will do 3,000 miles non-stop. Brilliant. And yours for four million. Four million? Yeah, that's more man for Can you see me for a spin? Why not? Let's, Let's try it. Come on, I can get used to this. It smells and feels like the inside of a Jaguar. It's all walnut and leather. It'll get you to Paris in 50 minutes, Egypt non-stop. And also, you don't actually have to win the jackpot to get here, because for a mere £4,000 a day, it can be all yours. And that, of course, includes star. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, thank you very much, money, Penny. Yeah. From my name, money, Penny. Now, last week, you may remember, our numbers guru, Sam Warren, talked about hot numbers. Well, we had a few letters asking uh, what he'd been drinking and where they could buy it. But seriously, a lot of you wanted to know Sam's hot numbers and how he came up with all this elaborate theory. So here he is. Hi. I want to come back to something I was talking about last week, hot numbers. Now, these are numbers that have appeared in recent draws more times than you would have expected. Take the last 10 draws, for example. You'll see that 30 and 44 have both come out four times, whereas these eight numbers have all come out three times and now warming up nicely. Now hot number players will choose these in the belief that they're going to come out again. And you can make hot numbers work for you. Take a lined piece of paper and write the numbers 1 to 49 down the left hand side. Then draw in several columns and put the dates of the drawers across the top. And as the numbers come out of the machine, draw in an X where those numbers are appearing. And very soon, you'll see which numbers are becoming hot. Now that's only one system, and I've got a lot more for you. So see you next week. Well, as long as Sam's happy. Now this in my hand is the fact, which has just come through from National Lottery Headquarters with all the information that we want tonight. And it says, 
This week's prize fund is estimated at £27,600,000. Which means that the estimated jackpot is a massive £8,200,000. Oh yes, that would come in handy, wouldn't it? Well, this week our cash donation to a local good cause goes to Luton-based sports and social club for the deaf. Luton Deaf Sports Club was actually founded about 1920, possibly 21, because we were actually given an old photograph of the Luton Deaf Football Club. We provide a very wide range of sports, including football, badminton, snooker and darts. The importance of this club is that people can actually come to the centre and meet other deaf people, for example, and relax, and just have a good time talking to each other. I'd actually like to spend tonight's money on, for example, the coaching of the football team. The idea is we actually would like to have deaf people to become qualified coaches so that they can teach and train other deaf people. I blow the whistle, and I stand on what they have done wrong, like putting the hands, uh, bowing, kicking, and so on. And also I tell them whether you just throw in, corner, and go kick, and just show them. And they will have to accept my position because they see me what I'm saying, yes. even though I don't have to talk with them. I have problems with the local league, especially where there's bowing a bit of language around. You can't hear them. So, you know, I always catch them and I sent them off because I lip read them with no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, with me is the secretary of the sports club, Mike Webster, and his interpreter, Tracy Blinken. Now, Mike, we'd like you to start the draw this evening, and uh, what you'll do, what we'll give you for that, is we're going to total up all the balls in tonight's draw, multiply that total by five, and that's the cash donation we'll be giving your good cause this evening. And for yourself, for pushing that button, you're going to take home this magnificent I Started the Ball Rolling trophy. Okay? Thank you very much, Mike Webster. to land from whichever planet she spent the week on and we've just heard the control tower here at Luton has given her clearance. Pluto, the planet of Southern World, is shining directly onto Sagittarius and the moon is close to new, so a Sagittarius with light blue eyes and the initials J or P is going to win a big prize, and a father and son close to the world of horses are going to be big winners too. And ladies and gentlemen, we would just like to point out at this junction that Miss It Meg is not a Royal Shakespeare Company player. Okay everybody, here in the hangar at Luton, do you have your tickets ready? Wave them in the air! Have you got yours ready at home? If you have, okay, let's make the draw. Okay, well, we're all set for the draw. Radio 1 listeners have just joined us, so I can tell them that the estimated jackpot this evening is 8.2 million. Okay, Martin, please start up, Arthur. Excellent. Mike Webster's always with me. He's got the most important finger in the country right now because he is going to press that button to start the draw. Okay, so Martin, could you now please release the balls? There they go. All your numbers in there now. Okay, let's count down to this week's draw. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Five, four, three, two, one. Push the button. The amber flashing lights will tell us when the first ball is being selected. Here it goes. And the first ball tonight is number 31. The second ball tonight is number 16. The 
third number in tonight's draw is number 25. The fourth number is number 43. 43. Fifth number is number four. Number four. We now wait for the all important sixth number. 8.2 million pounds resting on this one. Here it comes. And the sixth number tonight is number 26. Number 26. We now wait for the bonus ball. And tonight's bonus ball is number 21. winning numbers are any of those numbers yours or we're just going to rearrange them and pop them into numerical order to make it a little bit easier for you to check them against your ticket so they now read 4 16 25 26 31 43 and the bonus ball is 21 and mike i can now tell you that your donation tonight for your good cause amounts to 830 pounds If you've got three, four, or five of tonight's numbers, then nip along to your lottery outlet or the post office and claim your prize. If you've got five numbers plus a bonus number or six numbers, you can be very rich indeed. But call this number now. It's 0645 100 000. 0645 100 000. Now, if you've won any prize and you've got a great story about what you'll do with the money or how you selected your numbers, or in fact any lottery anecdote, then please write to us at this address. It's the National Lottery Live, BBC Television Centre, Wood Lane, London, W12 7RJ. So, I hope you're lucky this week. If you aren't, no problem, because we're doing it again next week. And next week, we're coming from a very special place. It's the birthplace of King Arthur. That's King Tadgel in Cornwall. And Guinevere is already getting very excited. See you from Cornwall. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Shot left side under red. Yeah, a false accusation. The police think it's murder and he's the prime suspect. And a false diagnosis. The maiden punch. I wish I'd been on call. I don't want any favours, Paul. But when deception's close to home. It was a complete accident. We tell the police. They think we did it. The truth can be difficult to bear. Dancy, how can I talk to you? Dangerfield, Friday, 9.30, BBC One. On duty now on BBC One, the accident and emergency staff at Holby City Hospital. Hey, 